That's like Michael's like, she'll be out of work. I said, no, she won't. She'll be what? She'll be out of what? Out of work. I told her, I told him, I said, no, she won't. Oh, some kind of weirdness going on with Wi-Fi here at the hospital and we'll, uh, it had stopped my recording there before we'll try it again. Husband had to come to the ER. He was weed eating uh, earlier today. He had some kind of muscle problem to the point he couldn't even get off of the ground. So had to call the, the uh, ambulance, uh, the local ambulance service uh, doesn't go as far as Bristol. We've been to JMH before, had a really bad experiences. So we thought, okay, we'll, we'll go to Bristol. Uh, Bristol used to be Wilmont, and they were wonderful. Uh, for as Smith County and uh, Johnson Memorial, they used to be a separate company, and they were not so wonderful. Guess what? Ballot Health owns all of them now. Husband has been here over an hour, Somebody came in and uh, put a blood pressure cuff on him and slapped a couple of heart monitors on him. That's it. I uh, had to go out and ask for a urinal when he had to go to the bathroom. Had to ask for a pillow. They didn't bring him any kind of a sheet or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, this is socialized medicine, folks. If you want a taste of it, go on and join us down here at uh, in southwestern Virginia. And uh, we can give you what... <laughs> Bernie Sanders wanted, and I, I damn well guarantee you, North Ralph Northam is not going through this. People up in Northern Virginia don't go through this. We've gone to the hospital at uh, the at UVA Charlottesville before, and they've got signs that say, "If you've waited over 15 minutes, come and tell somebody." But that, mm -mm, this is not acceptable. And on some of this stuff, as far as heroes work here, some of them maybe. I'm not convinced. When you let people lay and suffer, that's no, that's not heroic. And that's just like uh, youngest kid several months back, he had a migraine. It was so severe that uh, he actually wanted to go to the ER. They told him the wait time would be four hours. The kid finally just cried and, and begged to go home. You know. I, I thought that there were anti-monopoly laws. Okay, ballot, if you've got everything in the entire area bought up, how is that not a monopoly? And guess what, ballot? The people are suffering. And ballot health, I've got, I've got a word for you, ballot health, and it starts with an F. There you go. It's now uh, three minutes until 10 p.m. Uh, we are home, thus the uh, YouTube uh, screen and uh, yeah it was just one of those days sort of from hell that's all you can say uh, finally someone came in to uh, see husband there at the ER only after uh, we, we the janitor was coming through and uh, we asked her if we could speak to the lady who had taken the information for the insurance and stuff those people will come through uh, regardless of anything else going on, they will be there. And But she was kind. And at that point, husband was fed up. He said he was leaving. I, don't, I couldn't blame him. He'd been there for three and a half or almost four hours at that point. He had unhooked the, um, you know, the heart monitoring leads. He had taken the blood pressure cuff off. If we could have found some gauze, he would have removed his IV, and he was ready to go. And the fact that he had removed the leads and no one even bothered to come and check why that there were flat lines on the EKG, yeah. Anyhow, the lady came in and we explained the situation and why we were very unhappy with it. I told her I would like to speak to a patient's rights advocate. And it was just a few minutes later when an actual provider uh, came in and he said that there was some kind of mess up, that uh, he was a nurse practitioner. Uh, and then there's a doctor that was there on the floor. I think we saw him once. And uh, that each of them thought that they had Michael's case. And so no one had Michael's case, which is uh, no. And, and Michael had cut the nurse a lot more slack than I would have. 
because uh, if he had been paying attention, he would have come in and, and seen and have known that after that amount of time, no one had come in to check on Michael. So anyhow, something did get done. Husband was stabilized, uh, given medication to get him through. He has an appointment with his primary care uh, this coming Wednesday. I finally got him home, uh, put him in the bathtub, bathed him like a baby. It's like, huh, lad, the rinse repeat. No pun intended. Did that uh, quite a few years back. But you do what you got to do. And I have never understood why the people that have jobs don't take the job seriously. Especially when it's in, uh, like, the medical profession. So, anyhow, Ballot Health, my initial uh, comment about you still stands. You suck.